It is absolutely fantastic news that Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, wrongfully imprisoned for the last six years in Iran, is finally free. I'm elated for her, her family, Richard and Gabriella, and also to those freed alongside her who are in the process of being so. But it sickens me the Tories, particularly Boris Johnson and photo op airhead Thatcher wannabe Liz Truss, are claiming so much credit for this. Nazanin has dual citizenship, both British and Iranian. Just to do a brief recap, was arrested and imprisoned on trumped up charges of plotting to topple the Iranian government. She's an English teacher for heaven's sake. It was always nonsense. Yet she got sentenced to five years in prison as the farce went on. As Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson has singularly done more damage to her case than anyone else, having stupidly said she was out there teaching journalists. If he'd been on top of his brief, doing his job properly, and actually giving a damn about someone other than himself, he'd have known she was simply out on a family holiday. The opposition at the time called for sacking, but of course it never happened. Her sentence ended, but new charges were then brought. Every time she was due to be freed, it didn't happen. This woman has lived a waking nightmare for six years now, and it's widely believed, including by her husband Richard, that Nazanin was used as a bargaining chip over £400 million the UK government owed to Iran. In 1971, the Shah of Iran ordered £650 million worth of tanks and armoured vehicles from us. However, in 1979, his reign fell in a revolution led by the Ayatollah Khomeini, who then established the Islamic Republic of Iran, a political, religious dictatorship, essentially. We refused to refund him, and for 40 years have withheld those funds. All of a sudden, we pay up, and Nazanin is free. For 40 years, we could have settled our beef with Iran. Regardless who led the country, it wasn't our money to hold on to. We chose not to arm them, so we had to pay them back. We didn't, and political prisoners, including Nazanin, were held on to. So why now? Johnson has been PM for two years. For two years, he could have put his gross misjudgment as foreign secretary behind him and dealt with this, freed this woman to return to her family. He deliberately chose not to until now. And right now, we're a nation looking for oil. Iran sits on vast reserves. And having failed to get any more from the Russian supporting Saudis, it looks horribly coincidental that Nazanin's freedom and our desperation for oil happen at the same time. And if a deal for Iranian oil crops up now, we will know that this is the case. Once more, though, my best wishes to Nazanin and her family. I am delighted your ordeal is finally over.